<sighs> What's going on YouTube? Got you another video. A little different today. Um, I've actually had a lot of um, I've actually had a lot of viewers, you know, ask me about the little battery echo saw I've been using um, when I'm doing some tree jobs. And so today it's it's gonna be kind of a short video, but it's just gonna be like an overview review of this saw. So I'm gonna go over um, the things I like about this saw, the things I don't like this saw, and things that if I was a designer, you know, what would I change? Um, <clears throat> to, to first understand why I have this saw, I wanted to have a backup for my 201. So this is not like a battery versus gas powered video. This is more just about this um, Echo saw. And uh, <clears throat> this saw is basically like the uh, the 2511, but it is the battery powered or electric version of it. So um, first things first, this is just my honest opinion of this saw. This is not a sponsored uh, post or video. Echo isn't paying me to do anything. This is just me giving you my honest opinion on it because as a viewer when I go and buy products you know I like to look up videos like this and see what people say about them so um, <laughs> Echo did not give me this all this is I pay for this all I pay for this one too so anyway this is not a gas powered versus electric battery powered saw there's plenty of videos out there you know reason why I'm just <clears throat> really focusing more on this one um, the reason why I picked this saw, um, well, multiple reasons. Number one, I wanted a backup to this or vice versa. If I had one that I was climbing with and I needed another top handle, I'd have this one. Um, <clears throat> like to pick up another one at some point, but you know, two is enough. Um, the price point on it was about where my budget was at when I was looking for a saw so um, and I wanted I knew I wanted a battery powered saw so um, things I like about this saw is number one it's really lightweight um, it weighs significantly different you know 201 versus this that one's got about a half a tank of fuel in it so probably add a little bit more weight if it was full um, <clears throat> Uh, it's super lightweight, uh, very easy and portable to, to carry. Uh, the ergonomics of the handle are like really comfortable. Uh, I don't feel weird trying to saw stuff in this. Uh, it's pretty well balanced too um, with the battery. So kind of give you a little bit of idea. Um, the price point on one of these soles, um, I think I paid $4.99 for this saw. Uh, it does come with a battery, it does come with a charger, and that was one big thing. I've noticed like a lot of saws, you could just get the tool only, but then you'd have to pay like three or four hundred dollars more for a battery and a charger. So I kind of wanted to get everything and be able to cut pretty decent stuff with And this saw won't cut as, you know, hardier thicker stuff than this one because it's, it's a little bit bigger motor on it but this this little electric you know um this little electric saw it'll it'll cut pretty good material uh it does have a 12 inch uh bar on it the 12 inch bar i'll show you the size of the um numbers there so it's 12 inch you got a 0 0.050 and it's a 3 8 drive um, uh, another reason why I got the battery powered version um, is I wanted something that I could just cut like make quick cuts and not be so loud because you know when you're operating this stuff it reminds me of a angry pencil sharpener is what they remind me of so you know you don't have to um, one coming have a loud gas engine um, running. Yeah, just 
real quick in and out. You can do it for like early morning cleaning jobs that you just don't want to make a whole lot of noise. Um, so one thing I liked about a battery saw, and when I was looking for one, I wanted something lightweight, um, not too costly. You know, some of these Stony Ridge did a uh, review on a bunch of battery saws. You need to go to his channel and check that check one, that one out of different manufacturers. I mean, you can go all the way down to the Walmart brand Hart, all the all the way up to like a um, Husky 540i, which is you know what they say the Mac Daddy of all battery saws, um, steel and all that. And I and I'm a big steel fan. Okay, so I love I, if you notice in my videos. I pretty much run steel chainsaws and when I looked at the battery powered version of it you know I was gonna have to buy the saw and the battery and the charger and you got different types of batteries and I was gonna be up there in the 800 you know some of that husky stuff thousand dollar mark you know so I just didn't want to spend that much so that's why I went with this um, it's just great for smaller trees in and out not gonna be in there all day. So if I'm gonna be in a tree all day, then I'll probably carry this. You know, no biggie. Now I like about the battery saw that can kind of get spoiled off versus the gas powered saw. Is all I gotta do is press a button and pull that trigger. That's it. You know, with a gas powered one, you know, you gotta get your choke, then you gotta crank it up, and you're doing that in the tree. You know, may have to do four or five poles to get it going. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, it does save so much time being able to just press that button and go. So, um, <clears throat> another thing that kind of I like about this saw um, is when you do turn it on, okay, if it's idle for like 20, maybe 30 seconds, it's gonna shut off. You know, like a steel, you turn them on, and if you don't do anything within like three or four seconds, it cuts off. And that kind of gets annoying because you might be like trying to tie, you know, your rigging rope off to something or you're adjusting something and you just need a break. It's not that big of a deal to press the button if it turns off, but it does kind of get aggravating. So uh, it does have a delayed um, auto shut off, you know, to conserve the battery. So um, <clears throat> talk about the battery. <clears throat> so to talk about the battery, it is a 2.5 amp hour. Um, it is a 56 volt battery system and this is part of that e-force echo brand that they got it going on uh, they do make a 5.0 battery amp hour battery but it won't fit in the cradle um it just the battery is just too big to fit in here i've seen some people cut the bottom of that off and then re you know do something to get that bigger battery in there but for me personally, I, yeah, you having that bigger battery, you're gonna have more cutting time on it. It's gonna have more weight. At all the tree jobs I've been doing, on average, on this 2.5 amp hour battery, heavy to moderate cutting, I'm getting probably close to 30 to 40 minutes of actual run cutting time. Um, if you're not doing so much heavy cutting, like smaller stuff, you can get a little bit more uh, battery life out of that. Um, it does stay pretty consistent as far as your power band, so even through the life of the battery, it's kind of going. And then, you know, once you get to about uh, um, one bar, a quarter left, you know, you know, you need to start thinking about, hey, I'm going to be running out of battery soon. But it, it goes all the way, and then it'll kind of give you a little bit of hints of, I'm about to run out of juice, and then all of a sudden it just gets done with. So it's got an indicator on the battery. I think all of them do. Um, lights up pretty good, so you can kind of monitor the life of them. Uh, I did pick up a second battery just to have because one battery, if you're a tree professional, you know one battery isn't going to last you that long. So always have at least maybe. You're so close one or two i'm probably going to pick up another one these batteries run uh these 2.5 i've been seeing them average about 150 um which is not terrible um the 
5.0s or about 230 range but that's for the bigger equipment that e4 system they've got the they've got the blower the hedge trimmers even the mower system which uh yeah, I, i'm thinking about getting that um rear handle just to have because the battery stuff is great for quick stuff in and out quiet and uh can move on um so bar and chain um you know this is a stock bar and chain i have had this saw for probably close to four months maybe five and i've done several jobs on it i have only had to sharpen this chain maybe twice really good times uh it holds its um edge very well but then again, I'm not cutting really heavily aggressive wood too. So it's mostly small limbs on average. I'm usually cutting, you know, two inches to maybe eight, you know, on the biggest diameter. So I'm not wearing it out as, as well. Um, for the stock bar and chain, this does really cut very well. Um, <clears throat> your uh, captive um hold on brake uh brake cover um nut and your tensioner screw pretty easy access uh brake <coughs> got your oil reservoir i have my oiler turned up all the way on this saw and that's just how i like them but they do oil very great i have not had any issues out of the oiler uh system um the reservoir itself which is just kind of low is kind of small so kind of um be mindful you're gonna probably be refilling it a little bit more than you know a bigger gas all that holds a little bit more um <clears throat> about every two batteries um so you go to two full batteries you're gonna be refilling this or being close to empty give or take um just kind of give you guys a reference. Um, a carabiner hook, you know, for your harness. If you got for those that are climbing, um, it's got one built into the handle right here. I don't use it, in. but overall, super comfortable, super lightweight, easy to use. Not too long ago, I, I let one of my uh, clients that's elderly try this out, you know, to see not just for this purpose but just as a battery powered saw to have around the yard um so <coughs> really anybody can use this kind of saw not just a professional so um i think it's great small and compact to throw in the four-wheeler or side by side on the tractor you know if you're doing just some general work and just need to make a quick cut or two on something that was in the way or you know open up a you know fence gate or whatever uh just comes in handy to have i like carrying it with me um just any even the uh, gas powered um the things that i don't like about this song is the battery life on it um the, the numbers on there are in the specs they claim so much uh Depending on the wood, if it's harder wood, you know, you're going to go through a lot more energy just to get that motor going. Um, and I, I'm not going to say about this saw, um, because I think a lot of battery powered saws do the exact same thing. Uh, if you're trying to force it to go through, you know, thicker, heavier wood, the motors are going to bind up and you kind of have to be easy on this when it's cutting and it cuts good. Like it's not... It's not like hard to cut through something, you know. Um, but I think it's just more of a safety thing. Just, hey, I'm trying to keep that um, motor from overheating and tearing up or something. But I do feel like this motor has a plenty of power um, and uh, can cut through some pretty decent size stuff for the size of this saw. Um, like I said, it's not like a, if I'm gonna be cutting something bigger, use a bigger saw um so 
another thing that I, I I'm probably going to end up changing out. <coughs> actually, two things is the dogs on this. I think are kind of small. I wish I had a little bit bigger uh, dogs on it. They're metal, so that's good. I know some of these top handles have just been using plastic ones, even like the lower end steel. Uh, gas powered saws have been, you know, like that 180s and 170s. I think they're using uh, plastic dogs. Uh, it doesn't have to be like super long, but I wish they were a little bit more aggressive. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me, but that's just something I would have changed if I was a designer. Of it. So the stock bar and chain does cut really good. I feel though, <clears throat> in my personal opinion, I want to have a uh, quarter inch pitch uh, bar. I, I feel like a narrower curve would be easier on the saw and you can cut through a little bit thicker stuff and harder, harder stuff without having to try to eat away at so much wood <clears throat> at one time. Um, I was going to change out to the Panther bar, but um, recent... <coughs> Reviews have shown that that bar is just kind of super soft. It's not lasting as long um, Probably for my application it would be fine because I really don't use this saw on a daily basis You know, this isn't something I'm just constantly running um, I use more of my gas powered stuff um, For my heavier cleanup jobs that we do um, This is just good for like a real quick cut small stuff so um so if any of the, you viewers out there if you guys are know of any um bar and chain you know i've heard um that the uh sugihara and uh, steel make a quarter pitch so i'm looking into those i gotta figure out which uh uh drive wheel it's gonna need um but uh, yeah, if you guys, if anybody's watching that, can give me a good link to something, you know, put it in the comments, I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> and, uh, but yeah, this, so overall this saw, I think it's, you know, for the $500 mark, I think you are not gonna go wrong with it. Um, I would suggest picking up a second battery. Um, just to have on hand because it does get aggravating if you're cutting something and then don't have an extra battery and then you got to take it and charge it so you know if you're just doing some smaller stuff um, but just a good starter saw uh, a good like a, a tree climber out there if you guys are looking and getting into the uh, line of work you know this is something to consider just you gotta watch, you know, people gotta watch their budgets. They don't have, you know, you look at the steel 201 gas all that's, I think they're now 740, 760-ish. And then I put that light bar on it. I'm hoping to send this off and get it ported. Um, I really want to get this thing popped up and really make it a mean little saw. But, uh, yeah, that's, <clears throat> but that's my overall, overall view on it. A homeowner to a professional you can't really go wrong this is not echo you know paying me to say this um, I think there's some good battery powered saws out there like I said that Husky 540i out there I haven't actually used one I've seen it you know in videos being used I think it's a terrific um, product um, oh I wanted to point out too on this saw um, that 540i I've had there's some youtubers out there um that have been having some issues electronically like they're not turning on or they're giving like flashing um, buttons and stuff electronically i haven't had any issues out of this saw um and i'm gonna say knock on wood uh that i won't have anything i mean it, obviously things do break things do wear out um <clears throat> but i've not had any hiccups of it trying to get stuff going um, usually the only thing I've had hiccup was maybe like a piece of wood that got stuck up underneath the clutch cover um, <clears throat> and uh, had just to get it freed out not not too too much of a big deal so 
um, or pinching my bar in something, but that's just user error. <coughs> so, <coughs> anyway, I appreciate you watching it. If you guys got anything out of this, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to hear to give a little insight of what I think about it. Um, I'll probably be using this all for a good while, you know, unless something else comes out. Um, I know I'll try to do a video of all my saws and just kind of walk through what I do have on a normal basis. I'm looking at picking up a couple more, one of them being the battery powered rear handle um, echo saw and then I want to pick up a, another steel saw. Um, but, but that's it guys. Um, if you're not subscribed, you know, I'd appreciate it if you would, you know, you can check in with the latest content and stuff um i just put videos out there for people to watch and if you like them you like them if you don't you know it's not your cup of tea yeah you don't have to watch them I'm not you're not gonna hurt my feelings over it but if you do like them you know please subscribe like them comment on them help this channel out I'm not trying to be a full-blown youtuber out there but uh i'd like to see it grow you know it's People are commenting on there and I appreciate it and I'm reading it and I try to you know, respond back to people that talk to me out there. Um, just a normal person out here. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see you on the next video guys. So, uh, later. Y'all ready? <laughs> we clear? All right, YouTube, you ready to go for a ride? I think you are. Let's go for a ride. Ah! Oh,